Hello, my name is Johannes Dijon. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a query where the stub weight will increase by 20 pounds. By 20 pounds. So here's the scenario. Your boss comes along and says to you, well, okay, we have 100 members of staff. I would like you to, as an administrator, I would like you to update every single weight by 20, by 20 pounds. So what you will need to do is go to Create, Query, Design View, select the staff table, add the ID, name, surname and the weight. You don't really need the ID, the name and the surname. Let's take it off. Let's hide them. Okay, the only thing we need is just the weight. If we go to the update query section, so update to 20 pounds. Now, if I did something like this, what will happen on my actual table? This figure will change to 20. So what I need to do, I need to create an argument. And this argument basically will say, wherever the wage is, plus 20 pounds. So in order for me to do this, I need to just say wage plus 20 pounds. Now the wage represents the actual field. The problem I have now though, when I actually try to create an advanced queries like this, the word wage, it will be classed as a word but I don't want this to be classed as a word, but as a variable, variable that belongs to a field. If I try to execute this query now, it will not work. Two records will be updated. If I click yes, I receive this error message because, because Microsoft Access put the speech marks here. This, this within the speech marks, this class as a word and not as a variable. So I need to make sure that this is classed as a variable, not as a word. So in order to do this, I need to go to view and I need to actually go to, through the SQL view. Within my SQL view, I need to remove the speech marks. And then I'm going to run my query. Two records will be affected, yes, and the changes have been made. So the first record, the first person from £100 is earning now £120. And the second person from £50 earns £70. Let's change the figures again to 150 pounds. What if the wage needs to be increased based on percentage? So here's another scenario. Your boss comes along and says to you, right, okay, uh, because by law we need to increase the stub wage. So if I go to the query and go here on, the, on my uh, SQL view, so what I need to do, I need to actually keep this argument here, but I need to extend it. So I need to say, Weights times 0 0.10, so this will be my 10%, and then I need to say plus the wage. So basically, weights times 0 0.10, it will give me the actual percentage, 10%, the amount for the 10% based on the actual weight, and then I'm going to say plus the actual weight. Yeah? So now I need to tidy up here, so I need to put these two calculations within brackets and then this calculation within these brackets to make it nice and neat. So let me explain this again. So the weight variable, which is the field, will be times by 0 0.10. This will give me the actual percentage in currency. And then I'm going to add this to the actual current weight. So let's go to the design view, select run, and then I'm going to see records will be affected. So let's go back to the table. There is. So we have 110 pounds. So 10 pounds, 10% 10 for the 100 is 10, and 10% 10 for 50 is 5. So as you can see, the wages have been, uh, have been increased by 10% uh, by me using this argument. Something that I will be unable to do in design view. If I go to the design view, as you can see, the argument is there. So if I click here though, and try to run it, it will be fine. Okay, so I increase it by another 10%. So if I go back to the staff, 
as you can see here I'm decreased by another 10% so on because I've created the query in SQL I'm gonna go here now the space marks are, will, will not be applied but if I did this argument here directly here in design view then the space marks will be applied so please pay attention to this because this is important this is one of the main reasons why SQL view is the most accurate view this view is by default the view that is behind every single relational database if this database called Microsoft Access, MySQL, SQL Server or Oracle the process is exactly the same thank you for watching